Hey, James. Chef Perry Lang, how are you? Good, man. How you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get used to this now. I, 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 we got 3D movies. Yeah. <laughs> we got 3D televisions. Uh -huh. Now we're about to grill in 3D. I, I was first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is 3D grilling? Okay. 3D grilling is taking flavors to the next level. Okay. The key thing behind this is to, you're, do, you're doing the similar things. I'm not reinventing marinades. I'm making them better. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm not reinventing marinades. I'm just making them better. I'm making you um, actually achieve the best results quicker, fester, you know, faster, um, and more powerful. And so while I'm grilling, I'm constantly bu building flavors. You know, um, let me give you a, an example with real time here. I'll give you an okay. example. This, uh, this one recipe that I have here is a flank steak, which pounded and grilled flank steak with moho marinade. And, um, and again, I have all these little tips and tricks, and you should check them out on grillingwithbeans.com. Um, I put together 10 of the, the most important tips that you need to be successful at grilling this season or any, uh, your whole life. Um, but here's, a little, here's another recipe that, um, here, here is a recipe that uh, uh, exemplifies this kind of building of flavor. I use commonplace ingredients like ballpark mustard, beef bouillon, combine them together with vinegar, oil, and I put them in, and I kind of pound it into the, this flank steak here. <laughs> yep, no, it's, it's for real. I'm, I'm pounding it. And uh, I take that, I let it sit for a couple hours. It tenderizes, and then I go ahead and I throw it right onto the grill. This is, by the way, is dried off after, and you put a little bit of canola oil on it just to prevent it from sticking. Throw it right on, and here's where the 3D also comes in. Here's an herb brush, for example. This is about building flavor 3D, okay? Mm -hmm. This herb brush right here is a combination of thyme and, in this case, oregano, but you can use anything, any savory herbs. And what you're doing is you're building and you're lacquering on flavor. This is really, really important, and this is going to make your grilling, your barbecue a big difference. You can use it for everything. The key thing here is whenever you're building bold flavors, you don't want anything kind of weak and pallid next to it. I like bold sides. For me, I love um, Bush's Grilling Beans um, Black Bean Fiesta. This is a, a great dish that stands up to the, um, the boldness of this dish here. And you're constantly, constantly basting. Now, you're really into grilling, right? Yes. Okay. How do you tell when something's done? Do you cut into it or you just kind of know? Uh, you cut into it. Okay. Um, I want to give you a little tip to kind of help you with that, okay? Hold up your okay. hand, all right? All right. Okay. Touch right here. This is the fleshy part of your hand. Okay? Okay. Touch your index and your thumb together. Touch here. It's kind of firm, right? Right. Well done. Okay. No, this is, this is rare. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a morning. Um, this is rare. You see it's kind of squishy? When you go uh -huh. like this, it's really firm. That is well done, okay? You do this and you touch your meat. This way you do not have to cut into it. You will always have the right temperature. After a period of time, you'll never have to cut into your steak again. It's going, to be, it's going to be right there for you. You won't even have to do it. It's, uh, you'll kind of have the feel. You'll look like a grill master overnight. So. <laughs> oh, man, that sounds really cool. Tell us about your new grilling book, Barbecue 25, the world's most flavorful recipes, now made foolproof. You know, this, this book was a revelation for me. I took basically the 25 recipes that um, uh, people really use 95% of the time. Okay? Mm -hmm. They've really, they're always been asking me these questions. This book distills that information. It's not a basic book, but it's good for beginners, and it can stand up to people that are advanced. And to top it off, it's wipeable, and it opens up, so it's windproof. It's like a little grill-side manual. I was kind of inspired by my kids, <laughs> so, you know, the bath books. So um, I wanted something where I, barbecue sauce got on, I could wipe it off. And I also wanted a one-page format. So to me, it's a distillation of the best recipes that you can use right at your fingertips. Isn't it interesting how our kids teach us? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, where do we go to find these great grilling tips and recipes? Um, grillingwithbeans.com. Um, you can find them there. Great recipes, some different things, and some little tricks and uh, some new stuff that I put in there. So, hope you enjoy. Great. Now, where can we find your book at? Um, anywhere that books are sold. On, online or anywhere in the country. So. That sounds good. You know, you've made me weak now. I'm hungry. I know. It smells really good. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Get out there and have a good time, really. It's just, that's what it's really all about. So. And you know what's really interesting? We're right in time for Memorial Day weekend, too. Perfect. I really appreciate this. Perfect. There we go. Excellent. Jeff Perry Lane, thank you so much for teaching us about 3D grilling. And we got to remember, you were the first. Cool. <laughs> Take care, you. James. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.